What up guys? I am here with my best friend Carly. If you don't remember her, this is my best friend, my number one. And um, <laughs> there's a joke between her and my guy best friend, but she's always gonna be my number one. number one, but he's not. No, Carly's my number one. We're gonna call FaceTime best friend number two. To remind him the best friend number one is. See, this is why he's best friend number two, he doesn't answer. But just kidding, Carly, you don't answer a lot too. I know, but I have kids, so I have an excuse. I know. That's Lucas, here's Ellie. A lot of people have been asking me how Carly is. We are definitely still best friends. I just don't vlog as often as I used to, so she's not in the videos as much. Plus, we don't live that close, so we don't always see each other. Jen and I used to tan on her room. Her dad would help us. Remember, you put the ladder I, in the bathroom? Oh, yeah. Where we'd climb up, and like one time you brought the hose up there so we would get high. In my old house that I grew up in, there was a sunroof in the bathroom. My dad put a ladder in his bathroom so that we could go tan, because I love tanning outside on the roof. He put this ladder up, and we would climb up the ladder and just hang out on the roof. I and remember the chips I used to always eat that you hated? Which kind? The pretzel bites, but they were like roasted garlic. Ew. You know? <laughs> like, oh, I can't believe the <laughs> They were so gross. I don't like stuff like that because I don't like the aftertaste of garlic eating bread. But anyway, yeah, we used to bring snacks up on my roof and chill and hang out. It was always a lot of fun. But I used to love it because it was private and we could get like a nice tan, no tan line. Yes. I love it. I mean, the... <laughs> So that's just blown? Yeah. My little this is her dog. Oh my god, he's so cute and big. He got so big. Hi, Kobe. <laughs> they named him Kobe because of coronavirus. They got him right during coronavirus, like so many other people got dogs. Hi, cutie. Carly thinks this is so funny to call Dom and just be like, I, what? <laughs> I'm with my number one best friend because he thinks he's number he, one. He busts he her really balls all the time. Him. Hi, what are you? What are you doing? What's the prank? <laughs> What's the prank? <laughs> I just wanted to tell you that I'm with my best friend, the number one. Oh, <laughs> Number you one. Up. You're supposed to say guess What's what? up, number two? <laughs> and you're in the vlog, too. Best friend number one and two. <laughs> one in person. Well, you're hanging out with number two. It's fine. Yeah, I haven't seen you in forever, you know. I'm afraid to hang out with anybody, but you'll go to the shore. You'll go to all these other places. I went to one thing for a birthday. I told you I'm ready to see you now. <laughs> well, where are you then? At I'm here. House. I'm, I'm at best friend's house. That's <laughs> all right. Some of this story is going to have to be filtered, guys. Sorry. Filtered? She's vlogging still. I just turned it back uh, on. Geez. I was like, you going to fight? And she'd be like, no. I'm like, your knuckles are all bloody. <laughs> She's like, oh, no. This girl could fight. <laughs> Who did she fight? Um, I know. Female. Girls, but I know. Not girls, it was one girl. Oh. Yeah, another girl. <laughs> She's been like attacking me all day. Ah, ah! <laughs> it's like I have sunburn from last week and it still hurts. Ah! And he, he's like digging his nails. I'm literally racing against time right now because I have a rental car. I'm driving in it right now. I have the Audi Q3. I think that's what it's called, but I'll show you when I get out of the car. So far, this car is pretty nice. It has a really big sunroof, which I like. My vehicle is in the shop. It's been there probably like three weeks. Way overdue for the type of service I'm having done. Finally done my car. I'm picking it up. They close at 5 o'clock. It is now 4.30. I have to like get there sooner or else my car is going to be locked there over the weekend. Oh my god, I'm going to be out this corner. <laughs> Almost there. Let's go. Turn right, then slight right. I hate when the, the seatbelt like chokes you up. Jeez, I wasn't ready for that. Yes, I made it. I made it. Now I can show you what this car looks like. I don't really like how it looks, but it drove very nice and stopped me where I needed to go. So that was good. I gotta go take care of this payment real quick. How are you? How are you? Good. I'm supposed to leave my keys with you for that vehicle. Did you call them and let them know? Yeah. There's my car. I took a look at it and there's like some weird gunky, I don't know if it's tape or what. There's something on it. So he's going and he said he wasn't happy with it either. But I had my car here for like three weeks. It should have been done by now. I needed my whole bumper replaced because it had a big chunk of it lifted up. The tricky thing when you're dealing with body shops is do you trust them or not? If someone's supposed to do their job and they're supposed to do it right, I hold people accountable, especially if you're 
they're paying for it. They're getting a good amount of money for this to be fixed. But I don't care. Like, if you want something, you better speak up for yourself. That's all I gotta say. The message is to speak up for yourself. Sometimes guys in body shops will try, or in whatever car business, they'll try to take advantage of females thinking like they don't know what they're doing or whatever. Obviously, I don't know a lot about cars, but I'm curious. Well done. He was really nice to me. They said the paint job, there was a little bit messed up on the paint, so they're gonna order some more paint so they fix it, and then I gotta bring my car back. It's back. Looks good and shiny. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna rain. So now I have to like hurry to get back home because I don't want my car to get wet. Because <laughs> it's freshly washed. This is the thing that I like about my car a lot. You can see the speed limit, I love that. Made it home right before the rain started. I'm getting my dinner now. I literally made it just in time. First of all, I got out of my car and it started pouring. Oh, this food smells so good. Can't wait to eat this. I got bao buns. I look, you're not eating this. Oh my God, she's about to do it. Okay, so I've been trying to catch Nyla do this thing with her little monkey, Rufus. She takes him and puts him on the counter almost every night and she does this really loud meow and I haven't yet caught exactly what she's doing, but I hear her, she's about to do it right now. I'm gonna maybe try and set up a camera and then we can catch her and see what she's doing. Damn it, she caught me. <laughs> she was like, what are you doing? Why are you whispering? Nyla already found the camera. There's Rufus. I think she makes sweet love and you make sweet love to Rufus in the middle of the night. Good night. she do? What did she do? Are you making love to Rufus? I can't wait to watch this. All right, I'm gonna go watch it. You guys saw before me. But Nyla is watching me watch the video. She's like, oh my God, I'm caught. She's like, oh shit. Like, I don't know what, the, Nyla, I caught you red-handed. What do you think about that? She's not happy with me. Is this supposed to be private? She's so upset. I don't know what she's doing. I thought she was kind of trying to mate with him or something. I don't know why. But she loved this little monkey toy since she was a kitten. We had this monkey back in the old house. And I remember one day, if any of you remember this video, if you could find it, please send it to me. She was like a little kitten, probably smaller than Rufus or maybe like the same size. And she just came running down the hallway with him in her mouth one day. It was just really cute because she was so little and she was like dragging this big monkey down the hallway. Anyway, I hope you guys liked watching Nyla do her thing. I'm gonna end the vlog. Peace on the streets. Good night, guys. Oop. The newest addition to the merch store is available right now online at jensmithofficial.com and the link is in the description. The J logo was handwritten by me, but it was influenced by you guys, so I hope you like it as much as I do. Love you guys. Thank you.